For the Beaver Radio Network, I'm Brian Schultz. BSU softball team was scheduled to have their home conference opener this week. That, of course, got snowed out. Joined by freshman pitcher Jess Yost. Let's talk about warmer weather uh, than what we've had here. Uh, off of the softball diamond, how was your trip to South Carolina? It was really fun. Um, I got to know a lot of the girls better. So it was really a good team bonding experience. And it's warm, so that's, that's always nice. For you playing volleyball, too, how important was it to get to know the team a little bit better than they probably know everyone else on the team? Yeah, it was really important. Um, I they had, they had all year to get to know each other, and I just had half a year. So it was really important for me to get to know the team and how they play and what what their strengths and weaknesses are. So, yeah. How hard was it for you to uh, still get a softball in the hand and start throwing it around a little bit? Um. It was a little tough because they were so far ahead of me because they had been practicing all fall, and I just it took me a little while to get back into it. But once once I got back into it, it was fine. The level of competition that you played in South Carolina is not what you're going to face here in this league. But what did you learn about college softball and how good the hitters are uh, on your trip? I learned that you can't take breaks with anybody. <laughs> In high school, there were a few batters that you could just take advantage of easily. And then coming to college, everyone's good. They're here for a reason. So it should be fun to get into the NSIC, see how we do. Is it more important as a pitcher to hit spots or to make that pitch and to keep the hitter off balance by changing up your pitches and, and not throwing the same pitch, multiple pitches in a row? I think both are important. You gotta keep the hitters off balance, obviously, but when you need to throw a strike, you gotta hit your spot and go with your best pitch. Pitching rules aren't too terribly different from high school to college, but there are a couple of slight changes. Uh, have you had a hard time at all adjusting to what you can and cannot do now? Mm, the strike zone's a little smaller. They aren't as generous as they were in high school, and. A lot of times, if you throw it right down the middle, it's going to get hit really hard at you, so <laughs> it's a little bit different. Uh, as you have watched your team offensively, they've seemed to have put the bat on the ball pretty well. Uh, in your mind, how good can this team be? It can be really good. Um, a lot of the hitters, just even when I'm throwing in practice, I'm scared in the tunnels because I know they're such good hitters that they're just going to cream it at me if I throw it right down the middle, so... I think we have a lot of potential. How are your catchers to work with? I I really like my catchers. They know what they're talking about. Um, Mick has helped me so much over the past couple months. And Courtney's coming in and she's learning. And she's taking in everything really well. You guys uh, were hoping to play outside on the chat anyway. uh, But no backstop, you can't play, which I guess is understandable. Uh, How depressing was it to know that you were supposed to be playing today and and you can't? It's a little discouraging, um, but obviously it's cold outside, and so it would be fun to play, but I understand that it's too cold. Too cold. (laughs) Best of luck once you do finally get out on the field, Jess. Thank you.